Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change the drive belt on this LG TDC 70045E tumble dryer. If you can hear the motor spinning in your machine, but you can't see the drum turning, it's likely that you've got a broken drive belt. Now, safety first. Always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. The next thing I need to do is to remove the top of the appliance by undoing these two screws at the back. With the top out of the way, here we can see the drum and the belt. If I just lift the belt out, you can see that it's broken. To be able to fit the new belt, I need to be able to drop it around and in front of the drum. Now to do that takes quite a bit of dismantling, but the next thing I need to do is to remove both side panels of the machine. With all the screws removed, the side panels are still connected by hooks at the side and pegs at the bottom. So these just lift up and out. With both side panels out of the way, I next need to undo these five screws here and also remove the water drawer and its housing. With the screws removed on this side, the next thing I need to do is to remove the water container housing. So disconnect the hose and then ease the water container out of its position. And the hose will just lift up with it. With the housing out the way, the next thing I need to do is to remove the heater cover by undoing the screws that hold it in place. With the heater cover removed, the next thing I need to do is to remove the heater fan by undoing the nut that holds it into place. Next, loosen these three screws at the bottom. With those three screws loosened, I can now move the drum back a touch and drop the new belt around the drum. You can then use the belt as a handle to reposition the drum and then reattach the side rails to hold it into position. And now I need to reconnect the water drawer housing. Making sure that the hose is in the right position, feed that back through the drawer and then reposition the housing. Reconnect this hose. And then all I need to do is to feed this hose through the clip in the chassis and reposition in the sump. Next, retighten these bottom screws. And then reattach the two rails at the top. Then 
re-screw in the housing. Before reattaching the fan and the nut, as well as the heater cover. The next thing I need to do is to remove the fan cover and the condenser fan in order to be able to get the belt around the motor spindle. Just undo these two screws to remove the fan cover. To release the fan cover, I need to use a flat headed screwdriver just to ease the clip away at the back. With the fan cover out of the way, I next need to remove the fan itself. And I do that by using a spanner, adjustable or small, to hold on to this flat edge of the motor spindle. That keeps it into position. You then remove this part and using a ratchet, undo the condenser fan screw. With the fan out of the way, I can now work the belt over the motor spindle, rolling it into place. Like so. Now the belt is held taut by this tension pulley here, and also the spring that connects the motor to the chassis. To be able to work it onto the tension pulley, just Pull the motor away, making sure the spring is stretching. That means I can just work the belt into place on the pulley. Now the belt's on the position on the spindle and the tensioner pulley. Just give the belt a couple of turns just to make sure that the grooves in the belt match up with the grooves on the spindle. Because you've got limited space in which to put the fan back on, it's a good idea to just put the fan in place, place the nut on the end of the spindle, and then use the belt to turn the spindle and tighten the nut. Now I can tighten the nut using the spanner and ratchet. With the fan and fan cover back in place, all I need to do now is to attach the side panels and the top. So there we have it, one new belt fitted to this LG tumble dryer. Remember, spares for tumble dryers and other appliances can be found on the eSpares.co.uk website. Thanks for watching.